We obviously do a lot of light effects in our opticals. Superman has heat vision, so beams coming from his eyes. He has x-ray vision, different type of beam coming from his eyes. And whenever you introduce light effects, you should have some kind of reactive light and shadow. So the, the multi-layering is another reason that it's, it is a workhorse for us. We're able to churn out 40 effects in eight days on a regular basis. It says something about it. <laughs> We worked on a two 30-second spot campaign for AT&T. An interesting point about the commercial was that we were told to change the background after we'd done four or five days' work. The problem was that we were on such a tight schedule, we only had slides rather than live material for the, the new background scenes. So we ended up animating cars moving through scenes and indicator lights coming on and off. It was a fairly cloudy day when they shot the stills, so we had to um, add a more attractive sky and we had to brighten and color correct the scenes to match the work that we'd already done on the foreground elements. I need to work very, very quickly and I need to show high quality results very quickly. I also need to be able to revise all of my work immediately. All of these things Henry allows me to do. On Madonna's bedtime stories, the majority of shots were done in Henry. Difference matting was very, very important on this because a lot of things were shot as is. The DP should be able to do exactly what they want to do and a lot of times not work around technical boundaries. We should be able to be good enough to work those out on our end. Difference matting allowed for the natural lighting in the scene to remain constant as opposed to people trying to do match lighting all the time when they have problems with blue screen or then blue spill. This way they're not inhibited at any point in time when they're doing the shooting and they get the real artistic quality of the film. Nouveau postmodern comedy for the masses, The Simpsons. It's a show that parodies culture and we thought what better way to present The Simpsons uh, than to show them parodying something? She knew the signs. So what we decided to parody it. was the classic Chanel Number no. Five ad that Ridley Scott directed. In putting the characters in the real environment, we were concerned, obviously, about the shadow and the lighting, and. Uh, Using the corner pinning features in the Henry, it was very easy for me to uh, just direct the shadow where it necessarily had to be. For every idiot, there is a compulsion. The problem was we, we didn't want it to seem like animated water, so we said we have to have real water. We took a mannequin, we draped it in black velvet and put black on the ground and black in the background, and all we shot was the water being thrown onto this three-dimensional object. I used three or four layers, um, making the water, doing different keys on the water edges, making some of them less transparent, some of them more transparent, to try and, and capture some of the colors in the environment that we were putting it in. It was very easy in the Henry um, just to stack up these layers and change the color and change the key. And once you put Marge in there, it rolls right down her cleavage and it works perfectly. <laughs> Nothing like a good belly flap. The other thing that was nice about compulsion which is something I had never done before, was that we actually did the entire production in the Henry. One room, one box, one situation. Um, it allowed us to budget it uh, so that we could walk away with something great. The Nike spot actually was my introduction to Joe Pitka. to Europe, Mexico, and Brazil, and came back with this pho beautiful photography. And, you know, all of the work that I did to match his photography. The scenes that take place in Brazil and in Mexico are night scenes, and the photography that was provided was daylight photography, so I had to do a color correction and then add additional paint elements that would create the lights in the windows and the street lights. 
Um, so those background scenes were created in the paint box and then my animations put on top of them. So then I move into the animation capabilities of the, the, the Henry. That was kind of nice because it's a seamless, easy transition between the two and if I have to add something then I could go back into the paint box and enlarge uh, the side of a building which I had to do in the French sequence because the building couldn't accommodate the horizontal action. <laughs> Henry definitely is a fast uh, compositing uh, uh, piece of equipment. It makes it very easy to do this type of job.